everyone, this is Lisa and welcome to a Proverbs Home. If you're just stopping by, thank you for stopping by and welcome. And to all my friends, my family, mom, if you're watching, I love you. I want to say thank you for being here today and all your encouraging words. And today I am having some tea in my Josephine Rabbit mug. This mug was gifted to me two years ago from my husband. And I love drinking out of this mug. This is a cozy mug. Everybody needs to have a cozy mug. Even if you just have one. One cozy mug. You know how it is where we have all those mugs in our cabinet, right? And we're like, oh, we just have too many. So what I do is I declutter them, but I always keep my cozy mugs. The mugs that make my kitchen cozy, make me feel cozy, put a nice cozy drink. So go on ahead and fill up your mug with some coffee or tea and sit on back. And let's chat. I have some great things to show you that I use to cozy up my home. So come in out of the cold and get warmed up. You know, the days have been getting very cold. We started off with a nice warm, kind of warm winter. I mean, it was cold, but not as bad. But now we're getting that below zero weather and the really cold weather. And um, when it comes to that time of year, we like to cozy up and just have a warm things out. The things that say love and care to our family and to our loved ones. One of those things, believe it or not, it's my cat. Having a little fur animal it's just so nice to have that little animal in your home. It just brings such a special feeling. And I have a pile of pillows that are on my recliner. And my cat loves climbing on there at night. He likes being nice and warm and sleeping up there. And it's such a cozy aviance just to watch him do that. So I so appreciate my cat. He was around here a little bit ago, so I don't know where he's at now. I think I see him coming this way now. But he's such a special cat, and um, he's been adopted. I think I've shared that before. He's an adopted cat, and he's special. Elijah, you want to come up? Come on. He's coming. Here he goes. Here goes my cat. He's looking at my tea mug. He wants to know what I'm drinking. So I have my notes here that I'm going to discuss. I made sure I sat and I went through my house and looked at the things that make me cozy, that make my home cozy to share with you. So let's get into this. One thing that I find that I really love using in my home that brings coziness and warmth into my home are baskets. Baskets definitely bring coziness into any home. Whether your home is modern, you can add one basket, even if you have a modern home. Everybody's home is different. My home is a little bit more old-fashioned. I like the more old-fashioned things, the rustic things. So baskets make the home look so beautiful. No matter where you live, no matter what kind of decor you have, even adding one basket to your coffee table, a basket to put your keys in, a basket to put your little trinkets in your craft room, baskets for your bathroom. Baskets are so nice. I love baskets. And baskets definitely bring warmth and coziness into my home. And I just love them. And you can use them all year round. It could be in the summer with wildflowers on your kitchen table. And just make it look fresh and nice. So baskets definitely come in handy. Another thing that I love that I was looking for and I said, okay, what is something that I like the way it makes a home look and the coziness that it brings? And those are the tin cans. These tin cans are so beautiful. Now, I've picked some of these up for 10 cents. I know it was like a year ago, a friend of mine from church gave me a bunch of tin cans. I brought so many home, I gave them away. I gave a lot of them away. So I hardly have any of them anymore. I have a few. But the tin cans are so pretty. And I love this one. Look at the flowers on this. It's so beautiful. And what I love about these, this is a tea tin can. And when I bought this, I didn't get it with the teas inside, but I put teas inside of it. And look at the tea bags inside. They make your pantry look nice and they make the kitchen look nice and they bring coziness into your kitchen. So I really do enjoy tin cans. There's some that have teddy bears. I've looked for some like when I'm out thrifting, but some of them are like damaged, so I don't really want those. I like to find the ones that I can decorate with and they look nice. I do have a Timu haul that will be coming up soon that I videoed and I also have a part two from a Dollar Tree haul that I will be sharing with you soon. 
So I'm excited about those because I can't wait till you see the beautiful wall art that's gonna be coziness into my home. I think bears absolutely keep the home looking cozy and warm. I'm not talking about just any bear. I'm talking about these old fashioned, vintage looking bears that I love so much. I got this one at a thrift store and it says Denise Original and I think it's such a beautiful bear. I love the scarf because it says winter and during the winter, this is a nice bear to bring out. And just to put on my coffee table, put in my craft room or on my bed. Even if you just have one vintage bear to decorate in your bedroom, in your craft room, in your dining room, it just brings coziness. It says, here I am, I am home, come in from out of the cold. And I just love these stuffed animals. I had a situation last year, I decided to declutter my room and I took down these really pretty Boyd bears I had and I put them in a box, but they were not meant to be sent to the thrift shop. Well, guess what? I forgot to take them out the box and they were donated, but that's okay. Somebody else has them. <laughs> they were donated. So I went and got me a few more bears. I ordered one off of Amazon, but I got these at the thrift shop and I absolutely love my Boyd bears and whatever vintage bears I find. So I think bears also make the home very cozy and very comfortable. They just really do. Another thing I have on my list are the candles. Candles are so aesthetic. Now I know some people are allergic to candles, but you can get the ones that are not scented just to make your home look beautiful. And I love using candles. My husband is allergic to some of the smells. Now we love the balsam candles. Those are some of our favorite, my husband and I. We love that woodsy smell in the home. And we love getting those candles. They just make the home smell really nice. But I like all sorts of candles as long as they smell good. I'm not really into like the strong fruity smells, like the strong candy smells. Those give me a headache. I'm not really into those. But these small ones at the Dollar Tree, they don't have a lot of throw, but I put these in my bathroom and they smell in my bathroom really good. And I put them up there, I put them up and they make it so cozy in the bathroom. I think the bathrooms need to be cozy also and bring them that warmth into the bathrooms when people are taking a shower or they're in there, it just brings a warmth into the bathroom. So I love having my small candles around the house. Of course, disclaimer, always safety around pets and children. Everyone already knows that. We're all smart enough to know that. But I always say that on my videos. So I love the candles. This one smells so nice. Mm. It smells absolutely amazing. And I got another one that you're going to see in part two of my Dollar Tree haul that I haven't showed yet. And then this one is Rose Water Sangria. This smells so good. Oh. I love this one. I've already burned it. It smells so good. And by the way, sometimes if I go to these um, yard sales and they sometimes they have like a basket full of free stuff and they'll have like candles that are half used or hardly used in those baskets for free and I always grab them because they smell amazing. But this one I bought and this is from Huntington Homes and I've been burning it and this smells rose water absolutely beautiful i love the aesthetic and look at the beautiful picture on there the flowers love these candles can bring warmth coziness into your home i love candles like i said if you're allergic get unscented candles and you could put those on your dresser you could put them somewhere around your home up on a shelf and it just gives it that especially when the house is clean oh i just love it another thing that i have on my list is when bath time those showers using those warm smells when you're bathing when you're putting on body mist or perfume it just brings a coziness I think one of those smells that I love are lavender lavender brings such a coziness and it helps me sleep actually I like the lavender scents I like the cherry blossoms but cherry blossom to me, I like that. I enjoy that more in the springtime and I enjoy that more in the summer. But in the fall and especially in the winter, I like my winter scents that smell so good. This is one that I got at Bath and Body Works and they were on sale 
Like all their stuff was on sale for $3 and change. I could not believe it. Not all their stuff. Their winter stuff was all on sale. So I picked up this one. It is called Jolly Gingerbread Village. This look at the look at the graphic on there. Isn't that adorable? Imagine having this in your bathroom and having that coziness in there. This to me says home and coziness. And it smells amazing. Oh, that smells amazing. Also have the lotion that goes with it. So I think when you buy those warm smells for the winter, that brings coziness into your home. The gingerbread smells brings coziness into your home. The, the bread smells bring coziness into your home. I love the fragrances that have coziness. So even when you go get your body wash at Walmart, at Aldi, they have body wash. Wherever you go, maybe you can pick up some of those smells that are warm, scented. That can bring coziness to you, coziness to your home, and you just smell great and you feel great. You know, it's okay to take care of ourselves. It's last thing on my list are books. Books definitely bring coziness to my home and to me. I love sitting back with a hot cup of chocolate and a book. And sitting back when we have a little heater fireplace on, I love it. One of my subscribers was telling me in one of the comments how she was cross-stitching by her fireplace. And let me tell you, that comment alone just brought the most beautiful picture to me of somebody just really that loves their home. And I really think when you do those things for your home, you're not just doing it for you. You're showing your home love. You're showing this is where God gave me. This is the home that God gave me and I'm going to enjoy it. So when she shared that with me, she knows who she is if she's listening. That really brought to me so much joy and, and just I love when people leave those kind of comments or comments about their memories with their family. I just love it. I really really love it so I have these precious books and this these were given to me by a friend of mine at church I've had them for like three years already it's called the quilters apprentice by Jennifer Chiverini Chiverini I think that's how you pronounce her name these books are definitely comfort books that's what I call them and then this one is called the round robin the same author love love having these books these are the books that I most likely will not get rid of these are just beautiful books they bring coziness into my home I just really like reading these books on a winter day I really do now imagine sitting by the fireplace if you have a fireplace reading one of these books having your hot cocoa having that quietness and that stillness of the night you may be watching this and you may have children at home that you take care of. But still, when they're in bed, you can have that alone time once they're sleeping. This one is called A is for Annabelle. And this is from Tasha Tudor. She's another one that I love her books. And I just love the aesthetic of this book and her drawings in this book. Look how beautiful that is. I just really love this book. This is also, to me, a cozy book for my home. Coziness comes in so many different ways. It comes with the quilts you have and the blankets you have, the cups you have, those dishes you have. It's okay to go thrifting and shop for the things you want. Find them for very inexpensive. Save up, save up some money, even if it's $5, and you put that away just for you, even if it takes you a couple of months to save a few dollars. But save it and go out and buy something special for your home because that's important. So come in out of the cold and bring those special things out of your buckets, your containers, and decorate your home and make it feel special. Something like a small little teddy bear can warm up your home and show love everybody have a great day i am so happy you stopped by today and that you enjoyed this video god bless you and i'll talk to everyone soon bye